Hello everyone, welcome you all in our YouTube channel Learning Radiology. Then start our today's topic. Today we will discuss on the topic USG history and it and its advantage and disadvantage. So firstly, uh, we see about USG. In the USG it describes uh, sound waves of frequencies exceeding the range of human hearing range and their propagation in the medium. In case of medical diagnostic ultrasound, it's a modality that uses ultrasound energy and the acoustic properties of the body to produce an image from its stationary and moving tissues. It is based on the principle of pulse echo technique. Now we see on sound. Sound are mainly categorized into three three categories. First one infrasonic, second sonic, and ultrasonic. In case of infrasonic sound. Uh, it have a sound with a frequency of less than 20 Hz like uh, elephant use infrasonic sound to interact with the Hz thousand of kilometer away in case of sonic sound it's have a frequency of 20 to 20 thousand Hz this sound of this type of sound is called human audible range that means a human can hear in ultrasonic sound Ultrasonic sound have a frequency of more than 20,000 Hz. Like dogs, bats, able to hear high frequency sound. Now we see on the history. Firstly, ultrasound start in year 1794. A physiologist named Lazaro Spallanzani who discovered first study about echolocation among bats which form the basis for the ultrasound physics now in 1877 in 1877 to 1880 two brothers perry and jacques curie they discovered piezoelectricity ultrasound transducer emit and receive sound waves by the piezoelectric effect in year 1915 a physicist Paul Langevin was inspired by sinking of the Titanic and they commissioned to invent a device that detect object at the bottom of the sea. Langevin invented a hydrophone that, that was World Congress ultrasound in the medical education referred to as a first transducer in 1920s to 1940s. Sonography was used to treat members of European soccer teams as a form of physical therapy to apologize arthritic pain and eczema and to sterilize vaccines, states John Baker who holds several ARDMS ultrasound certifications. In 1942, a neurologist called Dasik is credited with being the first to use sonography for medical diagnosis. He transmitted a ultrasound beam through a human skull in attempt of detecting brain tumors. In year 1948, George D. Ludwig, an internist at Naval Medical Research Institute, developed a A-mode ultrasound equipment to detect gallstones. In 1949 to 1951, Douglas Horry and Joseph Holmes. But create B mode ultrasound equipment, including the 2D B mode linear compound scanner. John Reid and John Well invented a handheld B mode device to detect breast tumors. B mode in this time, B mode devices are used for the detect breast tumor. In 1953, a physician, Inj Elder, and engineer C. Helmut had perform a first successful echocardiogram by employing an echo test control device on a semen shipyard. In year 1958, Dr. Ann Donald incorporated ultrasound into Opsgain field of medicine. In 1958, ultrasound was used in the field of medicine which was Opsgain. In 1966, Don Baker and Dennis Watkins and John Reid designed a pulse doctor technology which developed led to imaging blood flow in their various layers of the heart. In 1970s, 
1970 is a mini development in 1970 come mini development including continuous wave doppler means that types of a doppler in 1966 only common doppler technology but in 1970s many technologies come like a part types of a doppler like continuous wave doppler spectral wave doppler color doppler and ultrasound instrumentation in 1980s Kazunori Baba of the University of Tokyo developed 3D, 3D ultrasound technology and captured 3D three dimensional images of a fetus in 1986. Means in 1980s, that as in 1986, first time developed a 3D images of a fetus. In 1989, Professor Daniel Listensin began began incorporating lung and general sonography in ICUs. In 1989, ultrasound was used in a intensive care units. In 1990s, starting in the 1980s, ultrasound technology became more soft, sophisticated with improved image quality and 3D imaging capability. This improvement continued into 1990s with the adoption of 4D capability. Ultrasound guided biopsies and also began 1990. In 1990s means in 1990s, 4D ultrasound cam and CT gap and, and ultrasound guided biopsy also began. From 2000 and present, many more advancements are done, like a variety of compact handheld devices which have, which have came on the market in recent year. Now iPhone was launched as a telesonography app and NASA has developed a virtual guidance program for sonographer for non-sonographer to perform ultrasound in a space. Uh, here are the images uh, also called uh, this is an article of a first page of the most famous paper in ob obstetrics ultrasound the state of art of the journey. These are the investigation of abdominal masses by pulsed ultrasound by Ann Donald these are this is the article now we see development on ultrasound these are the pan scanner early b mode apparatus in 1946 early alcoba machine machine from china two days USD machine in nowadays very um, many more advancement done in the ultrasound technology like handheld machine hand carrying machine like these are the many machines different category machine is shown on the image these are the handheld machine these are the most advantages most advanced advancement machines like these are the all are portable machine advantage of ultrasound ultrasound have some advantage and some disadvantage firstly see firstly we see on the advantage it's generally painless and do not require needles, injections or incision. Patients aren't exposed to ionizing radiation, making the procedure safer than diagnostic techniques such as X-ray and CT scans. In fact, there are no known harmful effects in ultrasound when we used as directly by your healthcare provider. In ultrasound, so in ultrasound they capture images of soft tissues that don't show up well on x-rays. Ultrasound are widely accept accessible and less expensive than other method. Soft tissue visualization is very good. Ultrasound technology is excellent at visualizing soft tissues such as organ and muscles. It is a safely non invasive approach, accessibility and speed, quality diagnostic in palms, big country, no imaging radiation, portability facilitated by laptop sized laptop size ultrasound machines. Previous, previously we have discussed on handheld handheld machines and portable ultrasonography. So these are the advanced advantage for ultrasound. Now we see disadvantage. Ultrasound increased depth means the lower 
frequency is required for optimal imaging anisotropy bone bone blocks ultrasound waves artifacts are more common ultrasound technique require improved anatomical image it's, it's not much as a detailed as x-rays it can't be used in area that contain gas it doesn't pass through bones more research is needed to determine whether or not long term exposure could be dangerous it can be wrong in detecting physical abnormalities here are some terms like amplitude frequency velocity and wavelength amplitude is a maximum changes maximum changes in the pressure from average value it is measured in decibels frequency is the number of vibration per second and it's measured in megahertz wavelength is a distance between similar point on the waveform and measured in a millimeter velocity velocity is a speed of wave in the direction of travel and it is measured in a meter per second these are the references for thank you like the video subscribe the channel comment on this video